Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part nine of our session on F12 configuration for stock item. In this session, we will explore more options and see how these options would be useful for your organization and how you can leverage these options. So let's now go to the next option. In the last session, we understood about the option of setting standard buying rate and selling rates for stock item. In this session, we will understand the need and benefit of the option set default accounting allocations for stock item in invoice mode. To understand the benefit of this option better, let us take a use case scenario. You are selling a product to your customer where the cost of the product that you have quoted to the customer includes delivery charges or freight charges. While billing, you do not want the additional ledger of freight charges or delivery charges shown on the face of the invoice. So, From the accounting aspect, let us say you want to credit sales ledger separately by the value of the product and freight charges or delivery charges ledger separately. You know the cost of freight charges works out to 10% of the cost of goods. Just, just an example I'm giving. How do we handle this situation? That is, you want 90% of the bill value to be credited to sales ledger and 10% of the bill value credited to your freight ledger or your delivery charges ledger. This is one of the example I'm giving. Depending on your business operations, you might have different use case scenarios of similar nature. To handle this situation, you have this option of set default accounting allocations for stock items in the invoice mode. Let us now go to tally and set this option to yes and see how we can address the use case scenario we just now discussed. By now, I'm sure that you are aware how to enable this F12 configuration option for your stock item. You can go to stock item master creation or alter to enable this option for your existing stock items also. Let us go to alteration screen and take one of the existing item that we had already created in our previous sessions and set this option for the stock item and see the impact. So go to alter, <coughs> press enter. Let us select stock item and let's select Dell laptop i3. Press enter and you will, we are now in the stock item alteration screen. So here to enable this option, we need to press F12 configuration and come to this option here, set default accounting allocation for stock item in the invoice mode. So come here and set this option to yes and press control A. Now you will see just below the description field, the option set modify default ledger for invoicing is visible. So come here and set this option to yes. So once you make this as yes, you will get the default accounting allocations that you would want to set up for your sales invoice and also for your purchase invoice. Now I have already created uh, these masters and I have set it up here so that we can speed up our session. So what I have done here is I have created a ledger called new sales under my sales account. Under the ledger name, we will select this item, new sales, right? Or you want to create any new sales ledger. So you have the list of sales ledger, which you can select. Or if you want a new sales ledger, you can go and create here, which I, I hope that already all of you know this. So I'm selecting new sales ledger, enter and 
in the percentage column let us specify 90% that is what you are seeing on the screen as per our use case scenario once you specify the percentage and press enter you will get the rounding off method just for the benefit of new viewers i have explained in detail about the various rounding method options available in tally and their result of the method chosen in my earlier videos so we will select normal rounding off and in the rounding limit we will set it as 1 which means you are rounding off to the unit level since the allocation is not 100% tally is asking for another ledger where the balance 10% of the value needs to be provided so here i am selecting a ledger again you press space bar you will get ledgers listed here and you select the respective ledger that you want for the balance 10% so in this case we are selecting freight charges enter and you enter 10% here if you want to split this percentage to more than one income or expenses ledger you can do so by providing the lesser percentage to the amount of 10% so until and unless the entire 100% allocation is not completed tally will keep asking for additional ledgers so that you have a complete allocation of 100% important note for all of you you can allocate only one ledger under sales group and the balance portion of the percentage can be allocated to either ledgers under indirect income or direct or indirect expenses once the 100% allocation is completed the cursor will now move to the purchase invoice section here again we can set up according to your requirement based on our understanding as above let us save this master and pass a sales entry to see the impact of this option in the purchase section whenever you are going to make a purchase invoice for this particular item tally will automatically allocate the value based on the percentage you have specified for each of the ledger so i'm saving this option control a so rest of the options everything is fine you don't have to do anything so i'm going to press this stock item alteration screen press control a and accept it now let us go to the voucher entry i am going to press v which is the hot key for vouchers and we are in the sales voucher so the date is 1st of march 21 so let me select a party a party then i am going to select this item which is dell laptop which is where we had specified the default accounting allocations in sales and purchases so i am going to select this particular item i am going to say one number i am selling so the rate amount everything comes and now when you notice here when the accounting allocation screen opens based on the configuration that you have done for default allocation for this stock item tally will automatically calculate based on the percentage that you have specified and it is going to now show you this allocation you see here 90% of 40000 is going to get credited to your sales ledger in this case it is new sales and 10% of the value is going to get credited to your freight charges this could be under your indirect income or it could be your expenses ledger also you might have a common freight charges ledger both for your input and output also it all depends on how you want to manage your masters enter save this voucher accept now let us go and view the ledger master and see the allocation so i'm going to press alt g and then i'm going to select ledger vouchers enter and let me select the new sales ledger which i had freshly created for this example enter here and you will notice that 36000 is getting credited to your sales ledger which is your new sales and let us see where is this 4000 getting 
credited. So just press F4 and then select the ledger freight charges, enter, and you will notice here that on 1st of March, the sales entry that you have made, 4,000 rupees is getting credited to the freight charges. So this is how, depending on the requirement and depending on various use cases, you can use this option of set default accounting allocations for stock item. And this will function only when you are capturing the entries in the invoice mode, in the sales invoice mode or in the purchase invoice mode. I hope you would have understood the benefit of this option and wherever it is required, you can make your use of these options. It is going to help you for faster data capturing and also accurate value to be captured to the respective ledgers that you intend to capture. If you're not aware of this option, I'm sure with this understanding, now you will start using this option. So thank you all for staying till the end. See you all in the next session and we will explore more options under F12 configuration for stock items. Thank you very much.